Boys and girls, this next story comes to you from a book of short stories, and it's entitled Strange and Spooky Stories. And its title is A Very Scary Ghost Story. Far away, on the west coast of Connemara, in the country of Ireland, when the sun falls from the sky and the mist comes rolling in from the sea like a carpet. On such a night, not so long ago, an old man was getting ready for bed. He lived all alone in a very big house, for his wife had died some years before, and his nearest neighbor was five miles away. As he was closing the wooden shutters on the windows, he heard a strange sound coming from beyond the garden, out in the thick mist. I am the ghost of the bleeding finger, coming, coming, coming. He was ever so scared. But maybe it was just a trick of the wind. Anyway, he quickly bolted the front door, ran upstairs, and dived under his bed. Then he heard the garden gate screeching open. As you see, it's a bleeding finger. Hmm, what's the cure for a bleeding finger? The hinges were rusty and needed oiling. There were footsteps up the garden path. I am the ghost of the bleeding finger. Coming, coming, coming. He shivered under his bed as he heard the door that he had just bolted, screeching, slowly opening. The hinges were very rusty and they needed oiling as well. There were footsteps across the corridor downstairs. I am the ghost of the bleeding finger. Coming, coming. Um, he shivered under his bed. What could I do? There were footsteps coming up the stairs toward the bedroom door. I am the ghost of the bleeding finger. Coming, coming, coming. The footsteps stopped outside the door. He was scared enough to drop dead of fright. The door screeched slowly, ever so slowly open. The hinges were rusty and needed oiling. The footsteps came across the floor toward the bed. I am the ghost of the bleeding finger. Coming, coming, coming. The voice was right above him now. He shook with fear, but where could he run to? The voice boomed louder now as the bed was pushed away and a face appeared above him and screamed in agony. I am the ghost of the bleeding finger. Have you got a bandage? My finger is really hurting. It's the end of that story, but boys and girls, look what I have. A band-aid for the ghost of the bleeding finger. I hope you guys enjoy the Hamilton Harvest Day. I hope that you get out there and enjoy the parade and I hope the weather is beautiful. Thank you guys for being a great group. We certainly enjoy uh, every opportunity we have to work with you. And again, enjoy the rest of your day.